I was definitely born as a private investigator, I just never knew it. I started the agency seven years ago when my first husband uh, was unfaithful a lot. And I tried to hire investigators and I hated them all. They were really cold and they had no emotions and they just wanted a lot of money off me. I said to my friends, look, this is what I want to do. I want to start it. I want to be an investigator. Will you help? And they did. They, were, they thought I was barking mad. My mum cried. Any kind of investigation problem that you need solving, we solve it. Cheating partners, child maintenance fraud investigations, general fraud and background checks. Right, can you see anybody in that corner office? So our client is a plumber and he's owed £5,000 by a builder's company. I turned up on their office's doorstep and said, where is our client's money? He confessed all, he said, yes, we do have it um, and we will repay your client, which he did in part, but there's still £1,200 outstanding. We've waited nearly a year now for the payment, so he's going to get another doorstep from me. I need to get up their number. Even finding their phone numbers is hard work. Uh, right. They also they hide behind like all two or three numbers in London and the bloody in Nottingham. This is going to be entertaining. So they're no longer there. We have to start all over again and try and find them again. The staff that we have are female. They're very inquisitive. They really want to get to the bottom of it. I've set up a fake profile of a, a male who's a property developer that lives in Scarborough. No. She's putting kisses back. Have you put three kisses back? No, I've just put one <laughs> for now. And you've got to have the kiss rule going on. Have you read the book? <laughs> the kiss rule works on a basis of how much you like a person or if you're flirting with a person. So maybe like a new guy might give them two kisses, work up to three. You know. If you send five, you basically want to sleep with them. Yes. <laughs> so don't send five. <laughs> send five! <laughs> Nobody would ever think the girls that we have do what we do. Um, but that's why we do it so well. It's because you'd never suspect us. Uh, you'd never suspect me. You'd just think Dizzy Blonde and don't get me wrong, you know, I certainly am. But there's also a side of us that is constantly calculating. So today's case is we have a client who is a male model and his pictures have been used by somebody um, to pretend that he is our client so that he can meet girls online. He's met a lot of girls online over the last three years. He's created 52 fake profiles and he's received a lot of very graphic images from these girls in question. We need to ring Kirsty, who is the girl that has been honey trapping the client. She needs to ring him and try and engineer the meeting. Hello. Hi Kirsty, it's Rebecca. Hi, are you alright? I'm good. How, what is the situation at the minute? Well, I'm going to ring it now. Okay. And, uh, I was like, say, you want to take it out for five, yeah? Ideally, yes, please, that would be perfect. Obviously, just play it as you think. I mean, you've done a great job so far, but um, just play it as you think. Hello there. Hi Matt, How are you doing? good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Matt. Nice I'm to meet you. Rebecca. Nice to meet you, Rebecca. Take a seat. Thank you very much. So the good news is, is that we have the guy who's been pretending to be you, right. and he has agreed to come on a date with us oh, really? this afternoon. What questions um, do you want to ask him? Why, really? Just, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of bad enough that he's been doing it using my image, but it's more what he's trying to get out of by doing it. It's mm. just, uh, yeah, he's, he's got some questions to answer, so we'll see if he sticks around to answer them. Okay. My uh, my guess is that he probably won't, but I've we'll got a, I've got a feeling he's going to run when he sees no, us. Yeah, but but yeah. um, the location that we've picked is quite it's a country property, right? So it'll have quite you a get distance your running shoes to run. <laughs> I'm going to the shoes will go and I'll just leg it. It'll be fine. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, we'll see how we get on. Yeah. He keeps using images of my niece and my nephew. Really? And, yeah, and it's almost got to the point where I feel I'm going to have to like privatise all yeah. my social media. Why should I have to do that, do you know what I mean? 
I, uh, I'm involved in events and I, I need mm -hmm. my kind of profiles open because that's how I promote my events. Yep. I'm a model, that's how I promote myself. He's used both sets of niece and nephew as well. It was getting to the point where it was on like sites that were up, not just your yeah, social media sites, it was almost going on sex sites and stuff. It was only about a year ago that I was informed that there's like a spam folder on your inbox on Facebook, which I, yeah. never, which I never knew about. Yeah. <laughs> and I opened it and uh, there was 40, 45 uh, messages off girls saying, some saying, why are you lying to me and pretending to be uh, giving me a different name on things like Tinder and stuff really? like that. My wife was getting messages. Right, Kirsty's just messaged me. Uh -huh. Um, she's saying that he's asking for her to send a picture when she gets to the bar, but he's also asking for him to send her WhatsApp location. It seemed like he was paranoid because he said he felt like he was being set up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. What's he said from that? Um, she said that she weren't trying to set him up. I want to have a conversation with you. Talk to us like a man and get out of your vehicle, mate. What have you done to my life and what have you done to that poor girl's life? Oh, no, get out no. and talk, uh, treat it like, a, like an adult and like a man. Just get out of the car and talk to us. Come in there and have uh, a conversation with us. I was thinking I was in a very low space in my life. I just needed comfort. I'd say I feel sorry for him because he, uh, he's a pathetic character. Like I told you, I was not thinking straight. I don't think I could have been any harsher without going too far. If you need friends, you don't put pictures on swinging websites. Oh, you no. don't send pictures that are indecent. And you certainly don't pretend to be somebody else. You go and you join the social club. You do anything. You go to church. I don't care what you do. Yeah. I think that I was fair with it. Yeah, yeah. I think that I got the point across that you can't do this. That he's taking advantage of people and he's actually destroying lives. I want you to do me a favour. Sure. I want you to go through the contacts that you have that you've been speaking to like that and delete them right now in front of me. I'm still really angry, but when does it have to get to that point that where you need to you, you need to use that just to get a bit of sexual gratification and there uh, but then at the same time I I'm completely 50-50 I'm on the fence because he's, he's completely using abusing girls to yeah. do that and you can't do that that's that's categorically not right we do have all the information of all the girls that he was speaking yeah. to we will obviously contact them and tell them what the truth is well do you know what then I think it's up to them I think it's up to them I, I, I will leave it up to them if they want to go to the police then they, they have my blessing then go for it but for me I, I, I'm willing to give him another chance. I shook his hand when he left and just said, this is it now. 